Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, setup wise is, is decent, to be fair. Nothing really sort of made you wrong in it. The thing for me that was a slight issue on the takeaway and the backswing here on the left, the club was going back a little bit hooded. Okay, so the club at this point here now is a little bit pointing down to the ground more than we wanted to. In past, the club had, had over-rotated, so we have discussed taking the club back a little bit on the stronger side. you just overdone it now, to be no, fair. And I think yeah. lack of play, and you remember, oh, I've got to take the club back this way. What was that feeling? I don't know, I've lost it. He said, I've played for a few weeks, and then he's gone too far. So the club would go back slightly strong, and the right arm would then get a little bit flatter. So now your backswing depth is just it's too far this way and not much turn in the body anyway. So the backswing looks quite short, but you've turned your shoulders and got the arms around here. Well, now as you come back in the golf ball, you're going to kind of be here as the arms are kind of still stuck back behind you. So you come in the golf ball more on this acute angle with the club face in that kind of hooded down position. Even if you kind of cricket shot it as a sense of a blocking off shot, you're still going to do that. Okay, you might re you might reduce it to some extent, but the club face at this point now is still in a closed position. Okay, it's still closed in this position here now. As you come back to the golf ball, it's still closed. Even if you sort of hang, hang on to the shot as much as you can, it's going to hug. And if you look at that kind of foot when you finish this swing, I mean, your right foot's facing. I mean, okay, you've only got sort of shoes on there, I've got spikes in there, but yeah. the fact your right foot's doing that, this foot now is leaning over there. It's just, there's so much kind of twisting in that it's top half. Yeah, it's yeah. just a lot going on, to be fair. That's for the seven iron. Mm -hmm. I mean, put a four iron or a drive, but you know, your ankles will be, mm -hmm. you'll be falling over, okay? So get that club working back here, halfway back. At this point, that club would be on the wall. You can see perfect. That, better, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, much better. I mean, that, that video I just sent you through now, they'll talk about kind of lead arm parallel. And the club at that point would be sitting on the wall there, which you've pretty much got with that edge of the screen there now. And as you continue on now, the club comes off the wall and there's your backswing. If we get all these lines out of the way and compare the two where your backswing was there, I mean, that was, I mean, A, the club's hit the wall there. I mean, that's, it's, it hits the wall kind of there, there yeah, probably. Yeah. So it's way behind you there now. And there's your backswing length. So you look at those two spots there now, I mean, they're chalk and cheese really, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, that, get that club, that right arm again, up of that shoulder a bit more, as you can see. Now, as the club comes back down, the club is now back in front of your chest there. Whereas this one here now, because you've gone so flat and behind here now, the hand's now really sort of coming down low through your midriff, just way sort of stuck behind mm. you in, in an awkward position. Now, as you come back in the golf ball with this one, club's back down in front, nice release the golf ball. Right ankle there is not quite so much spun out. This wasn't your best one, to no, be fair. The no. best one you had it on camera for, but you could see when I said, hold that position, stay there, your right ankle was probably turned in there and the foot was basically vertical, okay? So it was sort of moving across over time. So that's um, because I'm just over-rotating, is that? Yeah, you're, just trying to, you're trying to... I think, as you said, when you had that, that feeling from Portugal that you just had to turn better, mm. and it was something that kind of worked in that situation when you got the body turning better because you didn't really have much turn in your ulcer. It was more of a kind of a... A sort of swipe with your arm, and that's when the slice came in. Yeah. Then we got you rotating better. And as with all things, you, you'll find you will change quite quickly. That the difficulty for you is almost like stopping the change happening too much. Yeah, yeah? as in yeah. the club going back a bit hooded. Yeah, yeah. stop the slice. Now he's going back too hooded. Okay, <laughs> rotate the body through. We're not don't rotate too much. And that's the thing. The game of golf's got a spectrum at both ends. You've got too much of this and not enough of that. And it's finding that middle. sweet spot somewhere. Yeah. yeah? I think as long as you identify where you need to be, and like I said, this might come in the age of sort of whether the club going back. So when you're down the range, and, and, and you do be fair, you send videos across, which is great. Yeah. Next session, you'll be on the range, though, you might find your arm in this somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, and I think as long not, as you're aware two, of it. Neither of our two extremes, hopefully I can get there. <coughs> I know what it is. The exactly. You, you'll know what the middle feels like. And I think it's sometimes quite worth, I always say to sort of students, and I said, when you're on the range and you work on a certain thing, Go at both ends of the spectrum. Make a swing as flat as you can. Make a swing as upright as you can. Mm. And just see how it looks and feels. Yeah? Yeah. What does, does what feels stupidly upright look not that much upright? And what feels stupidly fat really flat? Then you're probably more on the flatter end of the scale. So we've got to just sort of push up this way. Mm. If the back swing, when it looks upright, is really upright, and what feels really flat isn't that flat, then you're probably a little bit too upright in the scale. Yeah. So it's just finding that kind of middle ground, as you said. For me, when you get to that spot there, now, there's not a lot really to do or worry about. You just don't wind your body and, really, and say, shake hands to the target. If the club face isn't as closed as it was before, it's not going to sort of hook off to the right. You can just let your arms and body sort of, the arms just fall down, your body rotate, ball strikes, turns through, yeah, that's nice, starts off on the down the target line, and this would end up on the green, to be fair. It's just a bit more control, and there's, there's less things that need to happen to kind of send that ball straight. 
And that's why I say when you get into that stage, we're going to hopefully this year get into that break 80 barrier, which I'm pretty confident you'll do that or get to that stage. Yeah. If you've got a lot of variables and moving parts in the golf swing, then you're coming down 16, 17, 18, let's say six, seven of a pie, like, oh God, pressure's going to build up a little bit. It's natural, you're going to feel a bit nervous because it's your first chance of breaking a milestone. Mm. So you're going to get nervous and then you might tighten up a little bit. If the swing's got three or four variables, yeah. if one's not working at all because you're tense, whoosh, where's the ball going to go? Yeah, Who yeah. knows? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And you'll play 50 knows you're playing really, really good golf, finish double, 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 and you go, oh, fuck. And then you're like, okay, you go. to the top of that. Yeah, 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 top of the action, yeah. And then on the way. So yeah, man, yeah. The, pa- the club pass. Oh, it's, it's yeah, that's great. Steep. Oh, so the one the way down, yeah, so on the yeah, way down, yeah. yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean, on plane there. Not, yeah, it's not really steep, was it? No, no, no that's fine. That yeah, is. I mean, that's that's really good. Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely see your, your angles coming down will be slightly shallower there. So that's where you kind of went back on the way back. Little bit steeper there, not not really massively steeper there. As you're coming back down the golf ball, your arms drop and the body rotates, so you kind of flatten off the club face. Good angle in the golf ball. Then you're coming down that green line. Pretty good, to be fair. Yeah. And through to a nice release to the side again, a bit more comfortable. And I think the, the couple of swings you made were a lot less stressful on that shot. And that's what I revert back to that because that's something that you want to be aware of. That we don't want you playing a lot more golf this year. And the more you play, the worse that pain gets. Because then you just stop playing, yeah, exactly. or you just battle through and go, I'll be around the next. Year. And then and then you'll be supporting the swing with the shoulder, and that's yeah. just not making the game any good. So okay, mate.